So we are talking about the movie Slasher.com, directed by Chip Gubera. Now, first thing I'm going to say about this movie, don't let the absolutely crappy intro put you off. The intro basically has all these kind of news clippings about this kind of... uh, uh, this slasher, basically, he uses this online dating site, and we see all these police busted and stuff, and they're, it's just ridiculous. All the police you know, kind of uh, dressed up like hillbilly survivalists and stuff like that. You don't see him again in the movie, just a bit of a shitty intro, so don't worry about that. But let's talk about the story of this one. Now, it's a little, I can't go into too many spoilers here or plot details, because this film does actually have a, a twist or two, so... I'm going to go so far. Basically, we have this backdrop where there's this kind of serial killer who uses the online dating site to pick victims. Then we kind of meet a couple going on a first date uh, after meeting online for the first time. For some reason, they both agree to go to this cabin in the woods uh, for stayover, even though they've just met. But there you go. No one thinks that's weird. Uh, anyway, when they get there, they kind of meet this kind of odd family who own the couple, and things turn into a grisly murder fest, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it. It ends up being a little bit like the movie Wrong Turn, but with a kind of a sexual twist to it. It's very much a uh, um, kind of almost a, a fetish, almost sexual deviant film to a to a certain degree. Um, now, when the twists, there are some things that happen. I feel, unfortunately, the kind of the setup and the name of this title kind of maybe give away the twist a little bit, so I won't go too much more into that. But suffice to say, you know, the status quo is not necessarily what you think. So, what do I think about this film? I have to say, I did quite like this film uh, in regards to its somewhat original original idea. I don't think it fully explored the kind of the online dating uh, sort of stalker thing, maybe as well as it could have done. To be honest, it seems to be more of a B plot really than the kind of the, the actual uh, the main plot here which is like I say more of like a wrong turn sort of situation but nonetheless you know that is kind of in favour of this kind of quite squirrely plot that you've got going on here so like, that, that was quite fun and there's this kind of like this uh, woman called Mama who is this kind of like matriarch of this weird family and she's she's pretty fun I've got to say and she has some quite sort of twisted scenes uh, certainly involving a spoon and a defecating dead body. It's pretty grim. That's what I'm going to say about that. Uh, suffice to say, this this film is goes somewhat kind of into quite dark places. The the kind of uh, the budget here is quite low, so some of the kind of the gore effects and the kills are on the, the cheap side. I'm going to look at. We have a scene where someone gets kind of stabbed through their back and it comes out the front it's, it's clearly just wobbling around and stuff so things like that the actual gore isn't particularly realistic and you know there are uh, a lot of the kills seem kind of cheap basically and the gore effects and the blood just doesn't look real so don't be prepared for any type of you know shocking gory moments and stuff like that the acting too sometimes is a little bit hammy the, the characters are more caricatures and in, at one hand, that is sort of kind of fun, but on the other hand, you know, it, is, it comes across as a little bit of a cheesy, cheesy flick. To be honest, I've got to say, it's it's a funny film in the fact that it's definitely not what you think it's going to be. Um, the central conceit when you kind of look at the cover of this and you kind of maybe read the synopsis and you know the title, you're definitely going to be expecting a different film than you actually get. But the thing we do get is still quite fun, even though it's kind of on the cheap and sometimes cheerful side. So I've just got to say, I kind of liked it. I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.